Hello, Lux for Less family. Today is Friday. Um, just wanted to come to you and start my vlog for the weekend, for the day. I wanted to show you all some items I picked up from Goodwill. This was a couple of days ago, but um, I bought a pair of Sam Edelman sandals. These were $6.99. These are leather and it has like a little snake skin detail. It's not snake skin, but it has like a snake skin print. I also bought this um, vase. It was $2.99. It's dusty. I have to wash it, but it was 40% off because um, white was the color of the day when I bought this a couple days ago. And then I bought <clears throat> these two little brass duckies that are going to go, one is probably gonna go upstairs in my office and these were um, $2.99 a piece. Uh -oh. $2.99 a piece. One is gonna go upstairs in my office and the other is probably gonna go over here on the, on the fireplace stand somewhere. And then the last thing that I bought is a book for my fireplace stand. I don't know, but it is Barack Obama's A Promised Land. This is a hardback, and this book was $1.49 at Goodwill. I'm probably gonna take the cover off, which I, I hate taking the cover off because I absolutely love <clears throat> his picture on the on the cover but um you know what no I'm gonna leave the cover on it's gray so it does go with the decor but this was a dollar 49 this book is in excellent condition oh look at the pictures look at that so this is gonna go over on my <clears throat> on the fireplace stand I may or may not go out today it's kind of wet outside here but if not, I will definitely come to you all tomorrow. I have some errands to run tomorrow, but it won't be a long day. But I'll check back in with you guys later, probably tomorrow. Bye. I just left Goodwill and I want to show you what I got. First of all, let me show you what I spent. $15.34. I bought a complete outfit. This actually is something I was looking for very specifically. I bought a blazer, a blue and white blazer. This one still had the tag on it and the tag says $99.50. And it looks like it was on sale. This came from Belk. And it's just a jacket, a blazer. It's real summertime because it's real thin, has gold buttons. So it's very, um, gives me very like sailor nautical vibe. And I was actually looking for a blazer that had gold buttons on it. The jacket was $5.99. Then I bought a pair of white shorts to go with it. It's by the brand Bay Studios. The shorts were $4.29. And then the last thing I bought was this tank from New York and Company. Still had the tags on it. And the tag was the tank was $3.99. So I'm gonna take it home, throw it in the wash. I have some blue and white shoes that I also thrifted that is going to go very well. 
with this outfit. That's all I wanted to show you all. I'm on my way home. I will check back in with you guys. Um, I don't really have anything else going on tonight, so I'll check back in with you guys later, probably tomorrow. I hope you all are having a fabulous Friday or a fabulous day on whatever day you are watching this, but I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Good morning, Lux for Less family. Today is Saturday. It is a beautiful day. It's already steaming hot outside. I am up. It's about 1030. I'm on my way to the eye doctor. Y'all, I think I need some glasses because the ones that I have for reading, they just not doing it no more. I'm wearing my necklace that my son bought me today. Um, I really love this. It has my name engraved on one side. On the other side, it says love G. His name is Gabriel and we call him G for short. But that is about it, you guys. I am done with my eye doctor's appointment. She did tell me that um, I probably would benefit from bifocals, the nerve, right? And then she shaded me because I hadn't been back. Um, I hadn't been to the eye doctor since 2016, you know? So she was like, do better with that. And um, reminded me that I was getting older and that it's important to have my eyes checked routinely. She just shaded me, but she was cool. I made it back home, y'all. Y'all, it's hot outside. It said it was only supposed to be about 85 today. It feels like it's about 95. Let me show you what I got. Went to Dillard. Like an all white shirt. So, show you what I got. Just a regular polo shirt that I got it out of the boys section. It's a size 18, 20, extra large. Y'all shop the boys, the little boys section, but this shirt was only $17.99 as opposed to one out of the women's section that was um, $39. Then I bought some, don't mind the bag, y'all. It was rumbling around in my car. Went to Tiffany's and I bought some perfume. This is Tiffany and Company Love. This smells really good, y'all. This is the 1.7 ounce, or the 1.6 ounce, rather. And um, it was $105, but it smells really, really good. And the last thing I bought was, I bought a MacBook. Something that I thought I would never, ever, ever, ever buy, but I wanted one, I needed one. I got it in gold. This was, um, I got it from the Apple store under the education pricing. No, I'm not a teacher nor a student. And it was $8.99. And then I bought the blind. This is the blind that's gonna go right there. This Levlor size 65 by 72 inches. What the hell? No way! Yee, yee, yee. Oh Lord. I got the wrong size, y'all. Oh, Lord. I got the wrong size. It's supposed to be 72 by 65, and I got it backwards. Mm, mm, mm. So, this is gonna have to go back. Damn, 
I do not want to take it back today, but what am I going to do? Should have been paying more attention. But anyway, that's all I got. Ain't got no more. I'm about to go get my nails and feet done. I'm at this new place that I decided to try. You see right there. I passed by this place a million times and honestly, I thought they were closed down. I decided to try it because it's going to be my dinner for tonight. I went back to Lowe's to take that blind back. I got the correct size. That's what I get for reading stuff upside down, but I check in with you guys. Don't mind my hair. I check in with you guys when I get home. Bye have my food let's see what it looks like this is um hibachi style chicken okay we get shrimp sauce soy sauce oh it looks delicious let me show you okay that looks really really good this is steak and shrimp i couldn't remember what i got but this is steak and shrimp. about you know two weeks or so and then 
hot air came back. Well, come to find out, I need a new compressor. Y'all, guess how much it costs to get the, the compressor fixed in the truck? $2,012 and change. Oh, hell no! I told that man, um, no. So, I don't know. Me and my husband been talking about it. I, I, I just don't want to invest the $2,000. But at the same time, since it is the car that I drive the most, I mean, my son drives his car, my husband drives, drives his car, and my car is kind of really the family car, if you know what I mean. Um, but that truck, y'all, is, that truck, y'all, that's my baby. I may get it fixed because this Florida heat is no joke, but at the same time, man, $2,000. So, anyway, we'll see. My husband did hang the blinds today. Well, after I got the right size, y'all saw what kind of a debacle that was. I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.